Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to see me compare the Yankee Home Inspiration range with the candles from the original Yankee Candle range, then just keep on watching. I became really interested in these Yankee Candle Home Inspirations candles when I saw them in the supermarket for a significantly cheaper price than the original Yankee Candles. Like many people, my introduction to Yankee Candle kind of came through the iconic Christmas cookie candle. Once I smelt this, it became a staple in my life that I would honestly burn all winter. It's such a delicious gourmand fragrance. And that kind of started me on my Yankee Candle journey. My favourite candle brand ever still remains Voluspa. These ones are quite hard to come by in the UK and a little bit more expensive. So for my kind of day-to-day -day candles, these might get a bit expensive because these have to be imported to the UK. So I often burn Yankees. If I lived in America, I would definitely splash out on Voluspa because they're similar in price. This one is $36 and it's bigger. You get um, about 100 grams more wax than a large Yankee jar, which costs $31 in the US. But since I'm in the UK and these are quite rare, I do burn Yankee candles oftentimes on a day-to-day -day basis. So when I saw them in the supermarket for much cheaper, I was thinking, hmm, is this a real Yankee candle? Does it compare to these? What's the difference? And I kind of went on a mission to find out. So I'm going to share my findings with you. So the main difference is the price. I have contacted Yankee Candle and they say that it is the same wax, the same quality in both of these. The glass on the Home Inspirations is a little bit thinner than these jars. The lids are different. The Home Inspirations don't have the Yankee Candle branding on the lid. I don't really mind that. So in the UK, these are sold in mostly supermarkets or Argos, Wilkinson's or Ryman. These don't seem to be available in the US. They seem to be a UK EU thing. I think they're available in Australia too from Woolworths. However, they don't seem to be available in the US. I know that Philly Candleman said that he found them in a Yankee Candle US outlet. I have seen them on the Pretty Little Thing US website, but they are $30 for a large jar. So you're not making a saving. So I think these are meant for different markets. But yeah, here in the UK, they are a much more affordable way to get Yankees. And like I said, since I burn these on a daily basis, if these live up to the quality of the original jars, then it's going to save us some money. I haven't burnt one of these yet, but I'm going to do so today. I don't have any reason to think that they won't perform as well as the original jars from what I've been told by Yankee. I'm smelling them on cold. Yankee candles kind of vary in their fragrance, but we can see, I'm just going to compare from the range. This is, mm, this is the chocolate eggs candle. And as we can see, the marbled effect comes from the fragrance oils being so abundant in the wax. And then comparing it to a Yankee candle home inspirations. Mm, this is the gingered apples. Also, we can see the high concentration of oil leading to that marbled effect. So I'll just put them side by side. So the brown wax is the original. And there we have the home inspiration. So it looks like they've got similar concentrations in them. I have heard it in the past. People weren't too impressed by the smells. They weren't saying they were as strong as the originals in the Home Inspirations. And I think it was the American Home line, the kind of US equivalent. This now says fragrance in every burn. So I think they must have stepped it up. I am expecting these to be the same kind of quality, but we'll see when I light one for the first time today. 
So the other difference is in terms of size. The home inspirations do come in small, medium and large, like the original jar candles. However, each of those sizes is a little smaller. So we can see here, the original Yankees have 623 grams in, whereas Home Inspirations Large has just 538 grams. So a little bit less wax, but kind of a lot less price. So the Yankee jars are $26.99 in the UK, $31 in the US. These home inspirations, they kind of vary in price depending on the store from what I've seen. These ones run from around 12 to 16 pounds in the UK. So even at the most expensive, this is almost three pence per gram of wax. And this one is about four and a third of a penny per gram of wax. Like I said, in the US, the price would be comparable if you did want to try one of the Home Inspirations line and order from the Pretty Little Thing website. However, they will be cheaper if you are able to pick up those in an outlet. These have popped up in US outlets in the past. They are the differences, really. Yankees say it's the same, exact same quality wax in the Home Inspirations as the originals. They just have different notes in them. So for example, here I have the classic clean cotton from Yankee in a large jar and the soft cotton in a home inspiration jar, which is slightly smaller, again, with that slightly thinner glass. So these are not exact dupes. They are their own fragrances, their own notes, their own separate brand. They are like the diffusion brand, I believe. Cheaper line from the same company, so they do smell different. This clean cotton smells like fresh. This has got a laundry, fresh laundry vibe hitting me in the face. Whereas the soft cotton from the Home Inspirations line is a bit more delicate and dainty. I'm still getting clean, but I'm getting more of the cotton. And they do have different notes. So I'll just use these cotton ones as an example. Top notes for the clean cotton original Yankee jar are ozone, leafy greens and bergamot. Whereas the top notes in this home inspiration soft cotton are mandarin, leafy greens and fresh ozone. So similar but different. Mid notes in this clean cotton from Yankee are Lily of the Valley and Rose. Middle notes in the soft cotton from the Home Inspirations line are Muge, Lang, Iris and Lavender Water. So they are different notes. For base notes in the clean cotton, we have Vetiver, Cedar, Musk and Woody notes. And in the soft cotton, base notes are Clean Musks, White Amber and Violet Leaf. So what my take on the situation is, if you want to hear it, is that these lines were created for two different customer bases, for two different purposes, for two different markets. If you go into a Yankee Candle store or go to Yankee Candle website, you're there specifically to buy a candle. You know that you are going to pay £27 for the large jar. You might be there for yourself. You might be there for a gift. But it's a treat. You're there to buy a candle and you're willing to pay for it. These ones are not available on the website. You might see them if you are in a supermarket. If you're in a supermarket or Wilkinson's, you're probably not there to buy candles, but you might see a candle. And if you saw a candle for £15, they are often on offer for less, you might pick it up on impulse. You might not pick up an almost £30 candle on impulse. So I believe, and this has been kind of confirmed when I asked someone in the Yankee outlet what the difference was, because these home inspirations do appear in outlet stores sometimes. They said some people don't want to pay £30 for a candle. So in my humble opinion, I think this is the diffusion line to get those people popping a candle in the trolley that might not have otherwise. Different market. Some people don't want to spend... £30 on a candle. It's all very unique. You might argue that a Yankee candle, £27 for this big one or $31, is crazy good value compared to spending £50 or $70 on this little Joe Malone candle. 
However, if you're buying your candles in the supermarket, mm, looks familiar, you might pick up this one in Aldi for just a couple of pounds. Again, if this was on offer, you could get this as a low as around a tenner. And I think it's just for different demographics. But I think it's the same stuff inside. <laughs> but we're going to put it to the test because I'm going to burn one today, see how it performs and tell you my thoughts. Very much like the main line, the home inspirations bring out different scents. As we can see, we have a Yankee North Pole here with that candy cane on. Delicious. Minty. At Christmas, I picked up a Home Inspirations Candy Cane Forest. Again, a bit more minty. So they bring out seasonal candles just like Yankee. Here I showed you that gingered apples, which I think was fab for autumn. They have brought out Easter candles in the Home Inspirations line. I don't have one, which you might pick up instead of a Yankee candle chocolate eggs if you wanted to spend less. They don't seem to have returning favourites from what I could see from the Home Inspirations line which I have over here and I have my original Yankee candles over here. So it seems to be kind of a bit of a parallel process. You can't buy these ones on the Yankee Candle website because as I said why would you spend £27 on a candle when you can spend 15 I think they've been very clever, Yankee, to catch two different markets. So I'm going to see if I've found a loophole and I can get those Yankee candles that I burn on a daily basis for a cheaper price. And I think I am going to burn today the pomegranate coconut again kind of maybe similar comparable to the yankee mainline to the coconut splash but again it has different notes it's got pomegranate notes in smells tropical delicate uplifting beachy it smells gorgeous you should always trim your wicks even before the first burn to keep that flame in control and get a more even burn. And I'm gonna like this bad boy. I can see those fragrant oils in there, so I'm expecting good things. I will let that one do its thing, see how it throws, and then come back and give you an update. And if I'm right and it's the same, I think I'm onto a really good thing and we'll probably tend to pick up more of the home inspirations than the original jars, unless they're on a sale. But we'll see. I think Woodwick have got a pretty similar thing going on who are owned by Newell Brands who own Yankee Candle. So we've got the original Woodwick candles here in the UK which cost £31 for the large ellipse jars. And then we have Nature's Wick which are also available in supermarkets. These are about £16 for a large jar. Again, Newell say same thing, same quality wax, slightly thinner glass, but otherwise the same good stuff inside at a cheaper price. So I'm excited to see. I'll let that guy burn and then come back and update you. I am back. I have been burning this candle for about half an hour and it's working as I would expect it to. It's pooling out. I would expect the whole thing to completely wax pool within an hour or two. It's about a third of the way there already. The throw is not crazy, but it is a light, fresh scent and it's definitely there. It's giving the room that ambience. So all in all, I am really happy with this Home Inspirations candle. I think I will definitely buy more and burn them. It makes it an affordable way to enjoy candles on a daily basis. Now I want to know what you think. Have you tried the Home Inspirations range from Yankee Candle? If so, how do you think it compares to the mainline range? What is your favourite brand of candle overall? I am a candle obsessive hair. I will link everything down below where you can pick up the candles, the mainline and the Home Inspirations. It's a really, really pleasant fragrance scent. I'm happy with this purchase and I think, honestly, 
we found a bargain way to enjoy Yankee Candle fragrance by picking up their home inspiration line. Same wax, same quality, same level of oil, slightly smaller size, slightly thinner glass, really, really smaller price. I'm really happy with that one. Thank you so much for being with me today. That's everything I've got for you. I will catch you all on my next one.